Hello, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this, we are going to access Excel sheet, basically retrieving the data from Excel. As I said, VBScript is a very powerful tool. You can use VBScript itself to deal with databases, Excel sheets. We have already seen how to access flat files. I am having an Excel sheet over here. There are two worksheets, sheet 1 and sheet 2. In sheet 1, I have got two columns, EMP ID and EMP name, 101, 102, 103, John, James and Raghu. There are three names over here. In sheet 2, I have got three columns, employee ID, month and salary. So I have got three rows and three columns. In sheet 1, we have got three rows and two columns plus the header. Now I want to read the content of this whole Excel, both the sheets. Okay, This is an Excel file. In this Excel file, there are two worksheets. So how to access that from VBScript? It's very simple. First, I am defining the path of the Excel file, d colon backslash backslash. Always use two backslashes, otherwise this backslash t will stand for tab. So this is the XLS file. Now, pretty much like file system object, you need to use create object Excel dot application. This is a standard syntax. Now, here there is you see this REM. REM is a remark. It is same as a single quote. So you have a comment like a single quote. REM also stands for the comment. So make sure that we suppress the alerts by setting Excel object Excel dot display alerts equal to zero because sometimes it may open up a pop up box so that you have to click. So you suppress that. Now we are opening the Excel in read only mode, pretty much like you open the file system. Open this Excel. This is the read only mode, right? So the confirm conversions. No, this is false. We don't have to convert anything uh, if it is in the Office 2007 or 2008 formats. So open the file in read only mode. So it is the command is object Excel dot workbooks dot open. So always you have to use this object that has been returned using this create object command. So once you open that workbook, now you see here worksheet count. I want to know how many sheets are there in that Excel sheet. There is a standard command object Excel dot worksheets dot count. This is a typical way of using object oriented programming object dot something. I print that value then since I want to print all the columns and rows of all the worksheets, I am having first loop over here for the worksheets, for one to all the worksheets loop. Then within the worksheet for all the rows, within the rows I am using for all the columns. So there are three loops over here, one inside the other for all the worksheets, for all the rows, for all the columns. In this one, I set the current worksheet because there may be worksheet 1, 2, 3. We want to set object Excel dot active workbook dot worksheets equal to the counter. So the counter is changing from 1 to the total count of worksheets. Once you get to that place, you are into that worksheet, sheet number 1. What we want to do is get the current columns. You may have multiple columns, but the one you, you see this command current worksheet dot used range dot columns dot count that means you might have got multiple columns but only columns that are filled with values you are using same way current rows count is current worksheet dot used range dot rows dot count so the used range is is a typical uh, thing that returns whichever is used which with is filled with data any blank ones will not be taken what we want to do is in that used range, I get the top and the left so that we will know how many rows and columns are there. We want to get that information. Current worksheet dot used range dot row and the column. Then set cells equal to current worksheet dot cells. That means this is a particular, uh, I would say it's an array. It's, it's internally it's an array. It gets all the cells into a matrix for x number of rows and x number of 
columns. Here is the trick. Now we have got the number of columns, the number of rows. There is a current uh, row and column and then we have got all the cells in the array. Here is the trick. For row equal to 0 to the total rows count minus 1, within that for columns 0 to that used columns count to 1, what I am trying to do now is, what is my current row? I have to go through row and then all the columns within that row. So I am just doing a simple arithmetic current row equal to is row plus top. Initially it will be 0 plus 0. Then I am moving one after the other. Finally, all I am saying is extract the word in that cells of current row comma current column dot value. For example, this is 0 comma 0, this is 0 comma 1, this is 0, 1 comma 0, 1 comma 1, this is 2 comma 0, this is 2 comma 1. So I have to loop through this. This is an array. This is a two-dimensional array. So the cells, I say cells of current row and current column dot value. If you see here this w script window shell script dot echo, this is same as message box. As usual, whenever you are dealing with Excel sheets or files or databases, make sure you release the objects and close the files. Then quit the Excel sheet, otherwise it will be in open mode. Always set the uh, handle to nothing or the object to nothing to release it back to the memory. So the final trick here is you loop through the worksheets, you loop through the rows, you loop through the columns, then you will get the things content printed. Now let us execute this. VBS, VBXLS, okay. It's saying reading data from D colon test.xls. You have two worksheets, yes. The, row, the worksheet count is returning this value. Now it starts looping. It is reading from worksheet 1. It is going to start looping. EMP ID, EMP name. First row. Second row, EMP ID, EMP name. Third row, fourth row. Then it is read, it is going to the next worksheet. Within that, it is reading employee ID, month and the salary. There are three columns. So it is reading the row number one, column one, column two, column three. Then row number two, column one, column two, column three. Next row, column one, column two. If you see here, this returns three, one, two thousand three. Whereas, if you go to the Excel sheet in this one, it is saying the text as Jan, 13, February 13, March 13, but look at the value here. Internally, Excel has stored as 3, 1, 2003. So that value is returned when you execute the VB script. So reading from Excel is pretty simple. This is a standard set of routines you need to just call. For that, you need to create the Excel object using create object Excel dot application. If you want further details, you can get it from MSDN Microsoft. This is the standard library from which you can get a lot of content. It has given a complete list of how to use Excel sheets, right from, if you see here, create object Excel dot application, how to add workbooks. You can even save it. You can add titles. You can set the colors, right? If you see here, including setting the font size, background color, bold, etc. You can format in the Excel through VB script itself. So whatever you can go inside and then do in Excel, you can do it through VB script itself. So this is, if you, if you know all these commands, I have shown you only how to read from Excel. There is a lot of way that you can do addition of rows, addition of worksheets, copying one Excel to another Excel sheets. So a lot of examples given over here. You can try these things. So this is from MSDN. So you can refer back to MSDN library for advanced Excel access through VBScript. Let us end this session here. Thank you.